everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today is the day where, you guessed it, we're off to Primark. It's been a month, has it, since we've last been to Primark together? So way overdue, wanted to go and show you exactly what was new in for spring. I've already done the damage, there's four bags in the back there. So yeah, that was, that was, um, that was a lot. If you're new here, then hi, my name is Liv. I make videos on beauty, lifestyle and fashion. So if that is something that you're interested in and you like my style of videos, it would mean the world to have you come join our little family here on YouTube. And if you do enjoy this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up because it really helps me out. So as always, we're gonna go in, we're gonna show you what's in and when I'm back home, I will do a haul of everything that I got. But it's a good one. So let's go to Primark. quite a good detangler brush, three pound. And these bags are ace. So I'm looking for minis from a hospital bag, which they normally do. In here, God, I'm so out of breath. I'm gonna get some new ones of those. Oops. Wow, that's quite bright. Psychedelic, so we've got all the brights in. I like those jeans, the dad jeans. Can't wait to be able to wear them again. 17. Big holdalls, 16. Cosmetic bag, four pound. That's sweet. More colours in the little these little bags. Twelve. I saw these on the Instagram page. Eight pound. They're like a a faux leather. The yellow is so cute. So they've got loads of like spring coloured bags in. They're cute as well. £12. I just don't need any more bags, that's the thing. <laughs> that's the problem. Yeah, you can see it's like all pastels, creams. little toiletries bags which are eight pound got some little techie bits in got some cute little jewelry in they're so cute. And they're getting all the summer bits in. They're nice. Like them. Bikinis. 
I'm not ready for bikinis yet, I don't know about you. But this just gives me, no, I'm not ready for that yet. These are what I need for my hospital bag. I don't know which ones to go for. I think I'll go for the squeezy ones. So yeah, they've got all the travel bits in. I thought they'd have more minis in than that. So we've got summer shorts in already. Summer swimsuits. That's nice. £12. I tried that one on last year so that's come back that's 12 pound that was really nice that cream one is nice which is that oh doesn't want to tell me how much it is that one is 10 pound I like that one but yeah i mean for me I'm not going to be doing swimwear yet. Definitely not. That's like a massive linen oversized shirt, 15. What else have we got? Denim shorts, £10. Little kimonos. I'm just not ready yet, guys. I am just not ready, so we're going to have to save that for another day. <laughs> knitwear this is a bit more like it because it's freezing today <laughs> so what have we got here that like that jumper it's like um, a fisherman style and that's £12 I like that and it also comes in this nice spring yellow which is nice, little denim mini skirt there, ten pound. I think it also comes in lilac. Yeah, it's nice. Feels nice as well. And then what are these? So like little lilac card. He's six pound. They're nice. A lemon oversized shirt, thirteen pounds. So that's an eight. So it's massively oversized. And then denim jackets are back, fifteen. Oh, that's nice. Lemon jacket. £20, that's lovely. That's really nice. And I do like that cream jumper very much. That's an extra small. But if you want to layer it, you're obviously going to want to, I reckon, size up. But yeah, I really like that. I'm just thinking, do I need it though? I've just had a huge clear out. And I'm trying to be good. And I can't find a small. I can only find a medium. And an extra small, I feel like, could be too small. Oh, guys, what do I do? I guess you'll have to wait and find out, won't you? What have we got here? It's like a crochet crop jumper. It's probably not crochet. Elena will tell me. But I'm pretty sure that is. supposed to be it's quite nice 15 
talk like that. What else have we got here? Skirts. Knitted joggers. See, I, I need to find something to come home from hospital in that's comfy. Bright orange. Wow, that's bright. I'd probably look like I escaped from jail if I wore that, to be fair. Comes with matching hoodie and they've got shorts but yeah I'd probably look like I escaped from jail that's really nice 13 pound and I like the colour of this one it's very springy 10 I think that's lovely got some knitted cycling shorts 6 pounds Another knitted dress there, 15. That's really soft. And then we've got some like mini dresses there, 11. That's really nice, I like that one. With the collar on. Really like that one. I like the colour of that. What else have we got? Little polo dresses, tab. That's really nice, quite like that. 13. What else have we got? I'm not a fan of the material on that one. 13. It'd be nice over a bikini, but that's about as far as I'd go with that one. But no, I do like that one. That's lovely. I bet that would look so flattering as well. So I need to decide. Eight pound little smock dress. Very sort of H&M esque. That's the dress that I tried in my last haul. That's a really pretty smock dress. Like if you followed me for a while you know that I love these types of dresses I absolutely love them and normally haunt H&M for them every spring so yeah what's this one I love that colour £10 what else? that little black smock 13 that's lovely One thirteen. Got a white one, but that looks quite sheer. Eight pound. These like just pretty little smock dresses. So if you remember the seamless cycling shorts and vest set, well this looks like seven pound. It's the seamless dress. So they've got the blue lemon and the lilac and that's really nice for six pounds but I don't know how see-through that would be because it's quite thin material so, hmm. so going over to like the suit trouser sort of section see what's new over here green flares love them they look long though 18 love the color of them that blazer absolutely love that same dress in cream matching trousers 15 got these loafers with diamante on 12 I love them but I just couldn't I don't think I'd style them very right on myself what else have we got? Whew, I'm out of breath. Ooh, gorgeous cream blazer, I love that. Just 
that 25 it's gorgeous oversized that would look beautiful I really love that one too I like that oversized shirt 13 it's like that cotton chambray material yeah definitely getting more springy Got some jackets but I've seen these before Bardo top in pink, that's really cute. Love that. Cute. Really like that in the pink. Rip mom jeans. Little bodysuit there, six. All this is kind of reminding me of like clueless. It's giving me like clueless vibes. Joyful, love that t-shirt. Six pounds. But they've only I think they've only got Yeah, they've only really got big sizes left. Which is a shame. So that's obviously flown out. Some more jeans there. Oh, that little white bag's really cute. I like that. Eight pound. It's really soft as well. Love that. Dungarees. Ace. I love that the dungarees are coming back. Seventeen pound bargain. Love that shirt in pink. Love that little crop. I'm loving it all. Those cute little bags, ten pound. Little hat there, good vibes, three pound. Yeah, I'm loving it. There's that little smock dress in the pink, which is really sweet. That would look really cute with some little sandals, eight pound. That's definitely giving me clueless vibes. 60s vibes I'm getting now. Love that. 13 pound. So yeah, I'm getting all the pink vibes. Clueless, pink, oversized shirts. Here's the models. And then like the cute little sort of like plastic bead jewelry, which is so cute. Just love it all. 15, love that. So soft. And that pinafore dress, love it. 16. Absolutely love that. Wow. Love these little sweaters. Keep it simple. And they're only five pounds. They've got some joggers in, 450 at lower price. Might grab some of them, see if I can fit them underneath my bump. <laughs> and they've got hoodies to match, which are eight. Some more hoodies over here, sorry. Um, what's this say? Manifest. It's my motto that, so I've got to get one of them. Should get one for Alina as well. Love the colour of that. Have a lovely day. So sweet, they're seven pounds. So we've got some maternity bits. I've got three weeks left. 
left, so I'm kind of thinking, don't really need to to go there, I don't think. Got all the fitness stuff in. What have we got here? Some like acid wash joggers, £10. Little matching hoodie, £10. Some lemon coloured joggers. Another cute bag there, £8. Daydreamer t-shirt, that's really cute. Then obviously all the usual joggers, which are six. Uh, Trust the journey, ten pounds. And on the back it says mindset is everything. Absolutely, totally agree. <sighs> so out of breath. Yeah, I do need new joggers, and I don't want to buy maternity ones. And I was really hoping I could get some that would just fit underneath my bum for now and then obviously when I've had baby so yeah that's the yellow jacket on in a medium it's nice but they haven't got small section so clueless PJs that's a nice little bralette set seven pound got some Disney PJs little floral ones I need some PJs to take in hospital. Comfy ones, not fancy ones. They're really, really soft. I love how soft they are. So soft. Same with them, £10. I also need a lightweight dressing gown like this but they were actually cheaper in Matalan so I think I'll head back to Matalan for that hmm pyjama sections not Eight, five pounds for them in the sale. They're not bad. Not bad for hospital because they're dark. What else have we got here in the sale? Like a night shirt. I don't know if that is in the sale. It's just a mess. Yeah, so something like that, but because this is maternity, it'll probably be more money. £12, is it? So it's nice, but, hmm. £12, yeah. I mean, it's nice, don't get me wrong. And they've got the matching trousers. But I'm really not bothered about being matchy matchy, I'll be honest. These look comfy though. These little maternity bras. So I might grab them. nice nighty well it's not a nice nighty but for the parenthood range if you're planning on breastfeeding that's a nice nighty cute little brawl that sets in
First you Some pampas grass there. How much is that? 150 bargain. Cute. It's a cute little rattan lamp. I've got another one down there. That one's 20, that one's 18. And a light fitting. What else have we got? Got some furniture bits. Love that chair, it's just quite low. <laughs> looking for nursery inspo that's nice it's like a rattan picture in a world where you can be anything be kind I need a water bottle as well for my hospital bag cutlery holder Know which one to go for. I think one with a straw. Oh, they like the IKEA Calyx baskets. Twelve pound. Especially from the nursery, seven pound. Two pack, eight pound. These little hanging baskets. I love that. I also love this one because that's like the colour of a nursery. That 
hanging one's nice. I like that. Loads of baskets in. And that's it, I think. It's a nice little basket. Cute little frame. Okay, so it is the following day. Apologies for the reflection of my glasses. Sebi decided that he wanted to um, pour the solution out of my contact lenses overnight, so they dried up. So, so there you go. This is what we're working with. And lighting, we're working on it because you will probably see from my IKEA video that, which will be coming next. I think that we've done some house updates mini little updates so lighting at the moment isn't um, set up properly so apologies for that but I have four bags from Primark I wanted to show you what I picked up it consists of clothing homeware and kids baby so the homeware section was really, really good. I'm in the process of doing Baby Girls Nursery at the moment, which again, I am trying to film for, so that you can see exactly what I'm doing. So some of these bits, well no, all of the bits are planned for the nursery. So fingers crossed, it all works out. So I'm gonna shut up and let's get going, shall we? So first I'm just gonna grab whatever I, I, I grab. So, first things first is this crew neck, grey mall sweatshirt. Got this in a medium, it was five pounds. The plan for this was to obviously wear for the next two and a half weeks, but then take into hospital with me to come home in. And also wear post birth because I'm not gonna be wearing anything other than big baggy jumpers and all the rest of it. And, to go with them now obviously I don't know how these are gonna fit but I just grabbed the matching joggers with the cuffed ankle in a small so this is 10 to 12 regular fit the medium looked really really wide so they would have been good for over the bum but I'm thinking to come home in this is it you don't you don't really know what to do do you so these were six pounds you could also get the matching hoodie if you wanted to, as opposed to the crew neck sweater. But I went with the sweater just because I just thought it would be more comfortable. So hopefully, obviously you guys will see exactly how that fits. But hopefully that will work for me to just come home in. And I figured, you know, I could just pack that in the bag and not have to worry about the fact that if I continue... So the thing with my hospital bag is, it needs to be packed and it needs to be packed now, it needs to be packed ready to go, bar obviously like chargers and things. So like if I, I wanted something that I could just put in and forget about and it's in, and I haven't got to think, where is it? Where is it in the house? Have I washed it? Have I worn it? You know, so that was the plan with that. Next, I grabbed this super smooth paddle brush. They had quite a good hair care collection in there, to be honest with you. This was three pounds and it's mixed bristles, suitable for all hair, hair types. It says the bristles are infused with argan oil. Didn't even see that, not really bothered by that at all. But I use a brush like this to blow dry my hair, just quickly blow dry it. So I figured I'd grab a new one of those. Next, I grabbed this pack of little squeezy tubes. Again, from a hospital bag. These were £1 and I've got them for, well I just thought it would be cheaper and more efficient to buy these and decant my stuff into them rather than go out and buy minis which are more than a pound each so that's why I went for them. Come in a steel lock bag as well so they're not going to spill and obviously they're great for if you're going away. Next, a couple of boring bits, I just got one of these grey uh, vests in a small £2.50. Again, I'm gonna pack this in my hospital bag so that I've just got at least one 
top in there that I can, I know is just in there and I can grab my bag and go. Then I just got two new uh, body scrubs, body puffs. These were £1.50 for two. So again, pretty boring purchase, but ideal. And I grabbed a Carmex lip balm, again, for my hospital bag. I'm thinking of doing a pack my hospital bag video. Yeah, I just grabbed that. I don't know how much that was, actually. I have to, have to find that out. And then, with all the like moving around, I, I've completely misplaced my false eyelash applicators. So notice that Primark now do them for a pound. So replace that, really inexpensive, and they make it so easy to put your lashes on. So I love them. I got a white long line vest in a small. This was £3.50. Great for covering the bump, great for covering the bum, great for with leggings. Just wanted to get that to wear for the next three weeks because I'm at that stage now where my bump has reached a point where things are getting tight. But I ain't buying no more maternity stuff, I tell you that for free. So that's not happening. Next. I'm not sure about this, but I grabbed this like bubblegum pink light airy smock dress. Schmock. Smock dress. I got this in a 10 and it was £8, which I thought was really good. It also comes in white. Don't know how it's going to fit the bump, but I think afterwards it will be a really pretty cute throw on dress with sandals in summer. So yeah, we'll see what that looks like. It's like a heavyweight sort of like cotton material. And I just thought the colour was really cute. So grabbed that to try. And then saw this oversized striped shirt. Again, it's like that cotton material. They did this in pink and white stripe. But I went for the blue. It's really mega, 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 mega oversized. You could either wear this as a dress or you could wear it open over leggings or shorts denim shorts or cycling shorts. I got it in an eight and it was 13 pounds. It's massive. So just bear that in mind. It is really, really big, but it's supposed to be. This I thought could be really versatile for after I've had baby. The fact that it's patterned will hopefully hide some stains, who knows. Um, and the fact that I could wear it open, I could wear it to cover up, whatever. I just think, and with it being cotton as well, it's not gonna, make me sweat so yeah hopefully that looks nice then just again another really boring one got the long line vest in the black in the small 350 so yeah so basically like something like this for now leggings and one of those oversized shirts is just basically what I'm going to be living in for the next two and a half weeks um, and probably post birth as well, to be perfectly honest with you. My, <laughs> I'm gonna show you my pants now. My favourite pants from Primark are these. They are the Hipster. Got them in the small, five pounds, pack of three. They're really, really comfortable. So I got the smaller size for after I've had baby. And also these ones, for some reason, come up smaller. So these are like bright summer colours in a green, a blue and a pink, £5 for three. These look like they come up small, so I've got these in the medium. So there you go. The internet now knows my Bridget Jones pants. So how cool is that? From the maternity section, I just grabbed a couple of the seam-free wrap bras. So you get the grey and white mall and you get the navy. And I got these just primarily for, for in hospital because they look quite comfy and stretchy. The six pounds in the medium, got no padding in. And like I say, I just wanted something that I could throw on. It's not gonna be too restrictive and tight and uncomfortable. And I didn't want anything with padding. So for six pounds for two, and obviously yes, they're the parenthood collection, well, it's, it's just a wrap bra at the end of the day. Anyone can wear them, so they will be perfectly fine for afterwards. So then I just grabbed one of these compact mini hair brushes. God, this takes me back to school. I used to have one of these in my school bag uh, with a mirror on. Again, hospital bag. 
don't want to take a huge hairbrush in there. £1.50. So grabbed one of those. They were definitely getting ready for like holiday vibes with like accessories and travel accessories. But I wasn't ready for the swimwear that hit me in the face when I walked in, I'll be honest. Okay, so next up, I grabbed some PJs. So I grabbed these, they're really, really, really soft. I just liked the floral pattern on them. These I got in a medium, they were 10 pounds. I think you can, yeah, you can adjust the waist on these ones as well. They're a wide leg, so I grabbed those and to go with them in the small, I grabbed just like the little matching camisole vest with a little frill hem. This was five pounds. So 15 pounds for the set, isn't too bad. They're quite pretty, they're nice for spring, summer with it being a camisole vest as well. So yeah, I wanted to grab them because there's just something about new PJs that just makes everything feel better. I don't know why. So I feel like, you know, when I get home, I just wanna put on a nice new fresh pair of PJs. So that's the plan, just a hospital bag purchase. Some flip flops, so for when I'm in the shower. And when I'm walking about, I'm just gonna take flip flops in. I'm not gonna press around with slippers, to be honest with you. Uh, I'll do the same as last time and take 90 pence Primark flip flops. So yeah, they had them in, in a range of colors. So as I say, definitely get ready for holiday season. Then I grabbed these PJs. I don't really know why, to be honest. Well, they're a fan favorite of mine, this style of PJ from Primark. If you've followed me for a very long time, then you'll know that, yeah, I love these PJs. They are the long sleeve jersey, uh, button down PJs. I like the color green. These were 12 pounds, got them in the medium. Again, after I've had baby, I'm just gonna be in PJs. Now I'm having a C-section, so yeah. PJs are gonna be my friend, so why not treat myself to yet another pair of PJs? I'm aware that I'm just showing you really like, random stuff, <laughs> but it's just how it's coming out of the bag. Grabbed this huge water bottle, again, for my hospital bag. This was £3.50, it's one litre. So yeah, just grab that to take into hospital with me. These little bits that I picked up. So I grabbed these little daisy duck dresses in three to six months, which we'll do here for summer. So cute. The a pack of two was seven pounds. So yeah, I just think they're really, really cute. Really, really lightweight. And she can just chuck them on if we're having a hot day. So yeah, I grabbed those to go with them. I couldn't resist getting these. Little Daisy Duck shoes. Look at them. They're so cute. In three to six months, these were five pounds. Yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't not, to be honest with you. Summer baby stuff in there was so sweet, I had to really like rain myself in. Right, moving on. So, next up, I saw this little two piece set with shorts. So, I grabbed it in three to six. It was six pounds. Has love and kind written on it. Yeah, I just thought, I couldn't resist it. Six pounds for that, which I thought was really, really good. I just love the little sweatshorts and it's so soft as well and so soft inside. So I wanted to grab with that. And then the last baby item that I grabbed was from the Daisy Duck range again in three to six. And it was just this little lightweight sweater with these little cute little floral leggings. So she can obviously wear her little Pram shoes with that as well and the leggings have got a little frill detail on the bottom so yeah so cute that was nine pounds for the set so quite pricey yeah I would say quite pricey but it's because it's Disney if that was a Primark range it would be about six pounds okay so moving on to homeware bits I've got some really nice bits to be honest with you I'm really chuffed so first thing is this rope basket woven storage basket this was seven pounds 
it's quite big, it's really thick and weighty. I got this sort of sage green colour because I'm wanting to put this in the nursery and I think what I'm going to do possibly is put like, use it as like a nappy caddy. Not 100% yet until I get in there and get organising, which I'm running out of time for. It also came in like um, a creamy colour as well. It has got handles on, you can literally carry it if you want to and use it like that. So yeah, I just thought for £7 that was a really good find. I found these woven baskets again with the sage colour at the bottom and they come in a pack of two. So you have a smaller size and a slightly bigger size. Those were £12 for two. I thought that was a really good price. Again, I'm going to use these in the nursery. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to put in them yet, but there's lots to find room for, so they're going to come in very handy. These would actually probably slot into like the IKEA Calyx units as well, so really, really handy. And then this one was just like, I don't know, I don't know how I found it to be honest, because it was just on the shelf like that, but obviously inside, it is one of those pull out baskets look at that with the pom-poms on those are just like the pink and the sage is the colors of her room so this couldn't be any more perfect if it tried this was only eight pounds so if this was in somewhere like tk maxx for example you're talking 16.99 and you'll see from the clips hopefully that they had them, they had white and um, seagrass, they had just the plain normal natural colour, they had lighter colours, they had white, they had so many different baskets and I just thought this would be perfect for blankets or toys, teddies, on the floor, on display, I absolutely adore it. It's going to match her light perfectly because she's got pom-poms on her light. So I can't wait for you to see the nursery reveal because oh, it's one hell of a reveal and it's been stressing me out. So, so excited when I saw that. Absolutely over the moon with that. I picked up this cube storage box in this sort of like creamy colour. These are basically what you put inside the Calyx, IKEA Calyx units, um, the £3 in Primark. I'm just going to put this in the bottom of a wardrobe again, store some bits in there, whether it be muslins or whatever. Definitely be able to utilise that. I then grabbed this medium drawer organiser. This was £3.50. So, you know, pricier than IKEA. It is nicer though because it's like that mall kind of fabric. So yeah, I just thought to organize her drawers, that's gonna be fantastic. And I also got the large drawer organizer as well, which was four pounds in the same tones. This one, I did have one similar for Seb. He still uses it actually. And for this one, I did put his like socks, mittens, bibs in and now he has it for has it for his pants and socks and he's four so it's still going four years later so cannot grumble at that so had to grab them you could actually use this as a bit of like a nappy caddy out on the top if you wanted to as well so yeah and then last but by no means least and this is where i'm gonna get covered i picked up some like pampas grass, like wheat grass, pampas grass. £1.50 a stem. I had a look at this in Dunelm the other day and it was £5.50 a stem. So £1.50, the only thing is, yes, I am covered and it is molting. So kind of, I don't know if that's normal or not. Let me know if it's normal guys, because if it shouldn't be like molting all over me, then it can go back. Do you know what I mean? I'm not down for paying 150 if it's gonna molt. I'd rather pay 550 and it not molt. But yeah, I got four of these. And the idea is because her nursery, which obviously you guys won't know yet, is like a rattan type, uh, woodland rattan type theme. Um, and I thought these would go perfectly in a tall vase on display. But yeah, they, they do. They are molting, so I don't know. 
Maybe if I give them a shake and see if there's anything left afterwards and if not return them, I don't know. So I was really happy to find that. I think artificial flowers in Primark are insane. Again, the furniture in there was ridiculous. They had so much rattan and uh, seagrass and all the rest, which is really in at the moment. So yeah, guys, that's everything that I picked up from Primark. Absolutely humongous haul, so over the moon. The home bits are fantastic. Means that I can get cracking in the nursery and then upload that video for you. I hope you enjoy coming to Primark with me. I will be filming another one before baby arrives and putting that up when baby is here so that you don't miss out on the Primark fix and neither do I. So as always, come say hi in the comments section. I'd love to hear how you're all doing, what you like, if you've grabbed anything, what you plan on picking up. I will see you in my next video. Bye!